Hi, these are 50 habits that I do daily to keep my life simple. Did I miss anything? I said simple. So of course I won't be sharing 50 habits because I just don't have them. But I will share five that have the biggest impact on my life. There was time when I enjoyed watching videos with ideas for 20, 40, 50 habits that could make my life better. But for now I would like to reduce the number of habits to simplify my life. So I do like the minimalistic approach. And the reason behind it is that now I would like to focus on the very few aspects of my life and give my full attention and creativity to them. So join the journey and subscribe to my channel for more videos like that. All the habits that I will share today have a huge impact on my life and even though it's very hard to rank them, I will try to order them from just favorite to really life-changing for me. And the first one, you guessed it right, it's drinking water. This is so simple but so powerful habit has a huge impact on my life and I really feel the difference when I drink water or don't drink enough water. Previously I was very good and consistent at drinking water but then my attention switched and I simply sometimes don't remember to, to do it. So I decided to restart paying attention to how much water do I drink and I do feel the difference. So when I drink water I feel that I'm more energized, I'm less sleepy, I'm more active and my skin feels the difference as well. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to put glasses of water or bottles of water everywhere around me, especially at my desk where I spend a lot of time, for example, editing videos or creating scripts for the videos. And also at work, where I work in front of a computer, it's important to have a water in your side. So that's the principle that I'm trying to follow. If I want to do something more, I try to make it so obvious, visible and part of my uh, eyesight. So uh, I try to put water everywhere. In addition, I take a water bottle when I travel because almost in every airport you can find it up with drinking water and this is how you can hydrate you when it's really mostly needed during the flight. Habit number two is to keep my vitamins and supplements in the area where I can access them very easily. The concept is very similar to previous one. So I keep my vitamins and supplements very close to my tea and coffee, which I drink quite often. And uh, that is how I remember to take my vitamins in. In most cases, the results of taking uh, supplements or vitamins or medication is visible when you do it long term. So it's important not to miss too many days without them. But here again, I remove the step of opening the cupboard and taking the box with all the supplements and searching for the one I need and just placing it in a visible, accessible spot for me. The important note here is that I can't put them everywhere because I would like my daughter not to reach them. So it's accessible just, just for me. Habit number three is developing my taste every day. The third habit helps me to get inspired. I develop my creative sense and taste every day. I notice interesting video designs. I make note of various video transitions, fonts, colors, animation, usage. And this is how I develop my taste and build my reference library for the time when I want some ideas. In the beginning, I thought that it's applicable only for people who create uh, something visually, but then I realized uh, I was very wrong because you can get inspired by conversations, you can get inspired by relationships, by activities, by the way people spend their lives, by technology, innovation, so it's applicable not only to professional life but also for the personal life and not only for creative but for all areas of the life. At home, at work, with friends, I get inspired by the relationship I see, the goals other people set for themselves, the technology, the nature, and this is really, really so great that everything can inspire you if you look at it like an inspiration. And the way to do it, of course, you can browse the internet, read magazines or books, and here it's important to be mindful about what do you see and why it is inspiring to you. So important to understand if it's inspiring or you are just 
browsing. Another, the opposite way to get inspired is to actually disconnect from anything. So don't consume any information, don't uh, go online, don't uh, read any, even don't read any books. And this is when your brain starts to feel a bit uh, bored and starts creating ideas so that it gets entertained. And this is how you can get some more inspiration as well. Habit number four is planning the things the night before. And advanced version, setting up the night before. This is a very great idea to plan the night before and this is how quite a lot of my plans actually come true. The idea here is that I don't need to think or plan in the morning because this could make me tired and also I could run out of the time slot of creative time slot that I have in the morning. So I do most of my creative tasks and uh, like the most important tasks in the morning when my daughter is asleep because this is the time when I'm more productive and more creative. And Sometimes when I don't plan my things from the night before, I have to plan them in the morning and then by the time I finished planning, my daughter is already awake and we continue our day. Also when I plan in the evening, and sometimes it can be as easy as just areas that I want to tackle the next day, I feel that my brain somehow processes this information during my sleep and in the morning I have more optimized uh, ways of uh, tackling my tasks. Sometimes I have dreams about it and maybe I come up with some new ideas during my sleep. So in the morning I'm ready to get a full speed. Advanced enhancement of this habit is to set up the night before. So when I plan to edit a video, for example, during the day, what I do the night before is I transfer all the necessary files to the editing computer and I can start the project. I can organize my source files and this is how I already have done quite a lot of work even though it takes a little bit of time but the next day when I wake up and uh, switch on my computer the things are ready and set for me to to crack on and finally my favorite game changer is to stop learning I often find myself listening to educational videos reading books listening to podcasts or signing up to very exciting courses and this is the good part the bad part that I barely have a time or energy to implement my learnings so the habit I implemented in my life is to stop learning and start doing I would rather read one book and implement the new knowledge from that book into my life rather than read five books and don't use this information because in that case why would I even need to know this information if I don't use it. The idea here is not to stop learning about new things, but actually switch to learn, do, learn, do mode, rather than learn, 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 or do, do, do. So the second one is also good, but I do like to learn an interesting ideas and that sparks the juices in my brain as well. So um, I do like to learn, do, and learn, and do. Do you guys have any ideas of habits that simplify your life rather than add complexity to it? If you do, share your ideas in the comments below. Thank you for joining in to this video. I hope you found it insightful and I will see you in the next one.